guys, it's your girl Carrie Hilson. I'm here at Teen Diaries of Project Butterfly here in New York. I'm having an amazing time. You guys are checking out singersroom.com. Teen Diaries and Project Butterfly was brought to me by Aisha and I I knew right away this was something I wanted to do. Right away I said I'm there, you know, just let me know when I'll get there. And um, you know, it's all about empowering young girls. It's all about confidence, it's all about esteem, it's all about showing them the importance of health and fitness and, and that's what I'm all about. You know, if I can break down the barriers of all the intimidating lights, camera, action, hair, makeup, you know, <laughs> high heels. If I can break down those barriers and show these girls, you know, what it means to, to be healthy and be fit and have self-esteem, then I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I think it's always good to have a place you can go where you're, whether it's school or an after-school program of any kind or, um, some organization at, at school during school hours, yearbook staff, whatever it is, wherever you can go and converse with other girls who are going through your same experiences. We all had issues with body image and um, so many things, hair types and all skin color. And every girl goes through that phase of just feeling so awkward and feeling so singled out. But if you have a place you can go where you realize we're all the same, we all have strengths, we all have weaknesses, we all have insecurities, we all are confident about something. And this is one of the places for these kids here in New York. What makes me a pretty girl? Um, <laughs> pretty is, you know, it's only, beauty's only skin deep. You know, I really do believe that what make, what, when I feel pretty is when I'm confident, when I'm comfortable, when I'm myself. Um, that's all it is. I, it means nothing. My song, Pretty Girl Rock, has nothing to do with how you look and everything to do with how you feel. You know, it, it's more about, it's not what you're hearing me say, it's what you're feeling from me. And that's the confidence to be me regardless of what anyone says about me. Because, I mean, these days, everyone's dealing with that. You got Facebook profiles, you know, everyone's like, let me show some, let me do something to get attention or, or be validated by other men, by other women, by whoever. So, you know, that's what it's all about. It's got to start from within. When I expect someone to be the same friend that I am to them, that saddens me. When you realize, the moment you realize that someone wasn't the same type of person you had been to them, open, honest, truthful, whatever that is, that's what makes me cry. The lack of privacy now even more than back in the day. There's so many ways that our privacy, you know, I get pictured while I'm eating or I might be sleeping on a plane and someone snaps a pic or I'm on the phone and someone's having a complete conversation with me but I'm talking to my lawyers or whatever like they or, or they're listening in you know and they ask you something about what you said on the phone you're like are you serious like seriously so the lack of privacy and how careful we have to be um, you know that's probably the, the downside but the, there's so many upsides that you know it, those are so minuscule on the scale of how I perceive what I do the popular carry is how that's perception, that's a matter of perception. Who I am hasn't changed. How I treat people hasn't changed. How, you know, how I feel about the, the art and the craft that I do, that hasn't changed. It still very much comes from a hungry place, wanting to do more, wanting to persevere, um, you know, pushing through adversity. I'm, I'm still the hungry old Carrie. <laughs>